Hey students, we're in Bologna, Italy, and we're here because of gravity. Now, when we talked about gravity in class, there's basically three different ideas of gravity that we discussed. Okay, there's the idea that gravity is the natural tendency of an object to move toward the center of the universe. Okay, that's Aristotle's idea of heavy objects move toward the center of the universe. Not an attraction of something to the Earth, but rather that the Earth is there because that's where all the heavy stuff accumulates. So that a rock would fall toward the center of the universe even if the whole Earth was gone. That's the Aristotelian idea of gravity. Then there's Isaac Newton's idea of gravity which is that gravity is the attraction of matter to matter. And so, therefore, a rock falls to the Earth because of a force that the Earth exerts on the rock, pulling the rock downward. And then there's the Einstein's view of gravity, which is that gravity is the warping of space and time created by matter, which then affects the motion of other matter. Um, now, all those are theories about how gravity works, but what, what about the mechanics of gravity, like how fast do things fall and just what happens? That's, that doesn't depend on the theory. Those theories could be wrong, okay? Uh, New, uh, 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 Aristotle was wrong, and then you can argue that, well, Newton was wrong if you say Einstein is right, and in the future we may come up with another theory that works better than Einstein, we say Einstein's wrong. But Aristotle or Newton or Einstein all would have to agree on how things actually go to the ground if you did experiments to measure the rate at which things fall. And if you do those measurements, the rate at which things fall is such that when you let a rock go, and when it falls for a second, it picks up about 32 feet per second of speed, and it falls for another second, it picks up another 32 feet per second, and another second, yet another thing, it's gaining speed steadily with each passing second of time. And the person who first really did a lot of precise experiments on this to work all this out was Giovanni Battista Riccioli here in Bologna. And because he was really interested in gravity and in falling objects, he, and I'm sure because he was a, a, a Roman Catholic priest, he spent a lot of time hanging around church towers dropping stuff uh, out of windows. And we're at, we're at one of these places, uh, the Church of St. Francis, and uh, we'll take a look at one of the towers. He, he, he lists some of the places that, that they did experiments dropping stuff out of, out of windows, balls, clay balls that they made up. And we're going to take a look at some of these towers, um, and we'll end up with the biggest tower that, that, that he used, uh, the Asinelli Tower. So now I'm standing in the back of the Church of St. Francis in Bologna. I'm going to turn around here. Not too fast, so does that make people dizzy. That's the church itself and the tower that Riccioli used is that. Now this is one of the towers. He talks about using several. Yeah, here's a view at the bottom of this tower. So, uh, you would be dropping it out of there and timing the fall to study. There. And he dropped stuff from the tower of St. Peter's. That one. So one really good thing about this tower at St. Peter's from a science perspective is it's got lots of windows. So if you need to time the balls from that window, or that window, or that window, or that one, or that one, or that one, or way up at the top, so that you get a nice long fall, boom, down to the bottom. Okay, this one's kind of interesting. We had, to, we had to hunt to find this tower, but here we go. You walk through here. Oh wait, no, we turn and go here. And then right. And through the gate.
gate. And that is the church of St. James the Greater. And the tower of the church is here. All the way up, way up. Yep, another great place to do some science. This is the main square in Bologna, and that's the cathedral, and the cathedral's tower is another one Riccioli mentions. That one right there. The Tower of St. Petronius. Yeah, this is, a, this is down the side of the Cathedral of St. Petronius, or the Church of St. Petronius, and there's the base of the tower. Another nice quiet spot. You, 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 you could drop some balls from there and maybe not even bother anybody with it. Another good place for an experiment.